Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to take a look at who is in your energetic field, who is toxic and codependent on you. But first, I would like to invite you all to book a personal private session with me through my website, www.divinelotustarot.com. You can find the link in the description box below. Um, also, just feel free to follow me on my different social media sites, which you can find that information in the link in the description box below as well, too. So, um, getting into the reading we're going to start with the zodiac sign of Taurus and then um, go through all the 12 zodiac sun signs in order um, ending with Aries so whether you have sun placements of these zodiac signs or other significant placements of these in your zodiac sign feel free to watch for all the ones that pertain to you to just get more insight that would be helpful to you okay so starting with those of you with significant placements of Taurus in your birth chart we have the queen of swords energy coming up so right away this is a very strong libra energy so it could be someone who is a libra or they hold very strong libra placements in their own birth chart this also could signify that it is someone who is um holds other air placements in their birth chart we also have the energy of other zodiac signs coming through such as sagittarius aries taurus in Gemini and then there is also a wife energy here so this could be your wife or someone else's wife okay so what I'm picking up essentially is the individuals who are toxic and codependent on you seem to be individuals who influence negatively how you perceive and how you think about situations so these are individuals where I feel like you talk to these people like regularly or very often and these individuals cloud your judgment in some sense. I'm also picking up the energy that these individuals seem to get you pulled into drama and into the middle of shit that doesn't even have to do with you a lot of the times. Um, I feel like the uh, when, when it comes to these particular individuals, um, it's individuals who bring their drama and their burdens to you and then somehow you end up in the midst of shit that has nothing to do with you and it affects you making proper decisions and utilizing your proper judgment because I do see that I would say a lot of you do have a moral compass and you actually do have um, the ability to make like great decisions and do you know no right from wrong but I feel like these individuals who are toxic and codependent on you they seem to be able to um, penetrate your mind and penetrate your way of thinking that um it seems like they're negatively impacting you and they're a negative like impression they 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 um it seems like you're vulnerable like you you are vulnerable when it comes to these individuals like you're very gullible and you're very vulnerable so at least essentially to you doing dumb shit is what i'm saying where if you were to actually listen to your own reasoning and sense of mind you probably wouldn't end up in some of the situations that you end up with whoever these individuals are okay so for those of you who have significant placements of gemini in your birth chart we have the queen of pentacles coming up so very strong capricorn energy here so it could be someone who is a capricorn sun or they could hold very significant strong placements of capricorn in their birth chart we also have other zodiac signs coming through of aquarius pisces and then yeah uh, Capricorn is actually coming through again um, and then we also have the energy of father so this could be your father someone else's father or someone you could look at as a father figure but the thing that's coming through in regards to whoever these individuals are that are toxic and codependent on you Gemini relates to the fact that these individuals negatively um, influence you um, when it comes to your business your finances your career and um, your relationship decisions is what I'm seeing okay so for those of you with significant placements of cancer in your birth chart we have the death card coming up this is giving me very strong scorpionic energy so this could be a Scorpio individual or someone who holds a lot of strong significant placements of Scorpio in their birth chart um, we also have the energy of it's just there's female energy here so it could be just the women in your life um, it could be someone who is married it could be an aunt um, a sister and someone who is a girlfriend so what I'm picking up essentially is when it comes to like your 
I'm getting your relationships. I'm getting like your everyday choices or decisions, the way you live your life. Um, I feel like a lot of these individuals could be very strongly influencing your uh, decisions, but I feel like it leads to you losing relationships so whatever advice or the energy that these individuals bring into your life um the death energy is here so it's almost like these people are very toxic and your ability to i feel like get on the path that you're supposed to be on is stagnant because of them so it's almost like these individu individuals will come and like squeeze the life out of whatever that you have like you could be very successful and prosperous but then it's like things will end and i feel like it's because the individuals you have who are codependent on you um which would relate to some of the individuals that i named um the relationships that you may have i just feel like there's an energy of where it's like things end for you and it's because of these people it's like the, essentially i'm just getting like these are individuals who are are very toxic and codependent on you and they cause things to end for you it's like you can't have things that you want or you can't like things will will not last with you holding these people holding on to these people having them in your life is what i'm seeing so it's like these individuals essentially push you to go through deep transformation which causes you to experience losses um dealing with these particular individuals because you haven't learned the lesson so it seems like you keep picking certain people over picking like the path or the things that you should be doing because of whoever these people are so it's essentially keeping you from having the type of life that you truly desire or that is meant for you allowing these people to stay associated to you and in your life so moving on to those of you who have significant placements of leo in your birth chart we have the queen of cups coming up so this is a strong cancerian energy so this person could be or these people could be um cancers they could also hold other zodiac placements in their birth chart of uh, water signs. I also have the energies here of Aries, Virgo, Aquarius, Sagittarius. And then I also have the energy of daughter. So this could be your daughter, or this could be someone who you have a daughter with. And then I have a grandpa energy. So this could be your grandpa or someone else's grandpa or someone you look at like a grandpa. So essentially what I'm getting here, Leo, is that there are people who you put on a pedestal who you should not be putting on a pedestal. This feels very much like um, I'm seeing casual energy. So this could be people who you treat like family, but they're friends. Okay. Um, and I feel like there's a sense of you really wanting to be liked. Okay. You may like the attention that you get from these individuals, um, or the flattery that these individuals do, um, when it comes in regards to you. But I, I definitely get this sense of, um, I'm j I just keep hearing short lived, something is short lived. That also entails to me that maybe for some of you, you try to make relationships last. If, if this is like, let's say a lusty or romantic, like casual fling or one night stand or sexual encounter or something like that, there could be a sense of you trying to make something more than what it actually is. So in that instance, that's what I'm picking up as well too. This could even be individuals where it's like you clearly see who these individuals are, but then you continue to associate with them um, because you want to be liked or because you want friends so bad. Um, but it's like, you know, the relationship, you've learned the lesson or they've showed you who they are, but you like continue to try to keep the incorporate these individuals into your life. So there could just be some, I'm hearing cord. There could just be some um, type of karmic connection as well too that you could have with these individuals where um, you could like trauma bond with these people. Okay. But it strongly feels like whoever these individuals are, they definitely know how to play and manipulate on your feelings, on your emotions, and know how to flatter you to a certain extent to get you to comply or do things um, that maybe you wouldn't necessarily normally do is what I'm getting as well too. So these are people who know how to play on your emotions in some type of manner. 
So yeah, definitely could be friends or people who you have, like I said, casual relationships with where they're only supposed to be like short lived, but you try to make it something more than what it is, or you try to extend some type of friendship with these people. And they clearly show you that, you know, they're not people who have your best interests at heart, put it like that. Okay, next, for those of you who have significant placements of Virgo in your birth chart, um, we have the will coming out. So this could be individuals who have very significantly strong Jupiterian placements in their birth chart, potentially maybe Sagittarius or Pisces, um, Jupiterian energy. Um, but I'm also getting the energy of Gemini. I have Aries and I have Taurus. But the individuals who are toxic and codependent on you in your energetic field, it feels like the end of these individuals play on your very generous nature. Okay. I also feel like these individuals are blocking you from your destiny because they keep you stuck. It also could be family members is what I'm seeing. So this could be family members that um, hold these type of energies or people who you view as like family. But what I'm seeing is they're definitely blocking you from your true potential and blocking you from like, f like your actual destiny um, is what I'm getting. So having these individuals in your life is essentially blocking you from having some type of major, huge, like blessing in your life that by keeping these people around you, you're only holding yourself back from your, your full potential. So for those of you who have significant placements of Libra in your birth chart, we have the eight of swords. So this could be someone who holds significant placements of air in their birth chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, um, it could be another Libra, a Virgo, a Cancer. We have the Gemini energy again here, Aries, and um, I have a grandpa energy here. So this could be your grandpa, someone else's grandpa, or someone you look at like a grandpa. But what I'm seeing is essentially um, the individuals who are toxic and codependent on you um, will show themselves as individuals who you um, feel very like suppressed when you're around. I feel like th these are people you feel very limited, restrained. Um, sometimes you may feel like you can't really think around these individuals. You may feel like you don't really get like space or time to yourself when you're around these individuals. So these could be individuals who always require like your attention. They could be very needy, very clingy, very, uh, yeah, very codependent on you, but you feel this. So I feel like a lot of you already know who these individuals are. I just feel like you don't speak up and you don't say anything for fear of, I guess maybe hurting these individuals feelings or maybe looking like the bad guy or the bad girl so I feel like a lot of you all are very aware like you're not not aware of who these individuals are you know who these individuals are I even as well see that a lot of you um there's there's um very like sporadic type of energy here like you in this type of energy here where it's like you kind of just want to break free and do something different so this could kind of cause you maybe you randomly might like lash out at these individuals and I'm not laughing at that but I'm just saying like like because you suppress or feel so suppressed or constrained around these individuals sometimes you may just kind of like lash out at these individuals because you have so much bottled up that you don't say so you could also hold a very um like passive aggressive type of energy around these individuals that it kind of seems random when you may just like go off on these people but it's because you feel so limited and restricted and you don't say or speak up for yourself a lot of the times with these individuals and that's only to your detriment okay So for those of you with significant placements of Scorpio in your birth chart, we have the full card here. Um, the full card for me is Uranus type of energy. So it could be anyone who kind of gets you, who, who like tries to get you to step outside of your comfort zone. But it would be individuals who try to get you to step outside of your comfort zone in means and ways that's like very harmful to you. So this could potentially be maybe... I sometimes see the full card pertaining to Aries energy or Aquarius energy. So they could hold those placements in their birth chart. But other energies that we have here is Taurus. We do have Aquarius here. We have Capricorn, Pisces, and Sagittarius. And then I also have, it could be someone potentially who you have a, a kid with. Okay. So what I'm picking up here, like I said, with the full card, 
these could be individuals who try to get you to step outside of your comfort zone maybe to experiment or try new things that is like not helpful to you this also could be like situations where i keep hearing indulgent so these could be individuals who encourage you to indulge in things that are not good for you or to take like risky um like do risky activities um as well as just other escapism type of things like drugs alcohol or like sex or shit like that so i just feel like these could be people who kind of get you to indulge in doing like risky things um Th because it's like these are people who want to see you make a fool of yourself is what i'm getting they want to make a mockery of you like you could be like like the class clown type of energy or at least that's how these individuals look at it when they you know get you to do the stuff that they get you to do so i, I feel like you're very impressionable to do um things that uh to make you step outside of your comfort zone i'm hearing to look cool um with these individuals but it's essentially these are people who are laughing at you they're not laughing with you so those of you with significant placements of sagittarius in your birth chart we have the eight of cups here so this could be someone who has significant placements of cancer scorpio um pisces i'm hearing leo libra um, we also have the energy of Capricorn here and it definitely feels like an elderly energy so it would potentially be you know someone who is like a who who would be considered an elder okay what I feel like here is there are individuals who essentially don't want to see you progress so I feel like there's a lot of individuals who want to keep you stuck in past energy because um, they don't want to see you move on and to move forward um, I feel like these people really depend on you for a lot of different things, but most importantly, just your energy, right? Um, and I feel like there's just this energy of these individuals wanting to keep you in the past. So this could be those of you who have really, you know, made strides to make significant improvements or changes in your life. And there are people who still resonate with the old version of you and they want to try to keep you in that energy because then they don't have to change. And they don't have to take accountability so um definitely like i said this this could be people who are elders in your life like your elder family members or just other individuals in your life like i said who is still stuck in the past of who you used to be versus who you are now um and they want to keep you in that old energy essentially because they're stuck it's, it's like a time they're, they're stuck in a time warp they haven't caught up to who you are now and they're just it's essentially it's like people don't want to get left behind because they don't want to heal or they know they they don't have what it takes to you know progress and keep up with you so it's like i see people see you going places and they want to you know continue to kind of drain on your energy and keep you stuck in a a low vibrational just giving me very crabs in a barrel type of energy so next we are taking a look at those of you who have significant placements of capricorn in your birth chart we have the moon card coming up so this energy is very sad okay um but it could be anyone who holds very significant placements of cancer um, or pisces in their birth chart um, I'm also getting the energy of Capricorn here, Taurus, Pisces, um, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius. There's also the energies of a wife here. So this could be your wife or someone else's wife. There could be, um, there's a husband energy here. So this could be your husband or someone else's husband. There's someone who is divorced here or someone going through a divorce. There's other female energy here. So it could just be like the females who you associate with or who are in your life. There could be someone who is going through some type of legalities here as well too with the court system. And then I have an uncle energy. So this could be your uncle or someone else's uncle. But I'm, I'm getting a very sad energy from you all because I feel like you all have like repressed feelings and repressed emotions that you don't really get to express. So this could be like individuals who like like your feelings don't matter is kind of what i'm getting so these are people who like drain you of your energy or your resources or your time these could even be people who just like waste your time and they always could be telling you about their problems um but it's like i'm getting like a what about me energy but you don't say this out loud you you get what i mean 
it's just this sad lonely energy of like you have things that you're going through but like you don't really feel like any of these people like help you and you always like have to take on the burdens and the energy and the the like I feel like you feel a whole lot more than you say like maybe some of you are empathic and you take on like the emotional debris of like every all these people who are like toxic and codependent on you but you just kind of like deal with it like you just take it like you just shoulder the the burdens the emotional burdens of these other people and you don't say anything about it and it feels very sad because you feel very lonely and it feels like you're going through some type of sadness or depression yourself and like you don't have anyone to turn to or talk to about this and it's almost like you have so many people around you who are so selfish and concerned about themselves it's kind of sad So for those of you who have significant placements of Aquarius in your birth chart, we have the Three of Swords coming up. So this could be someone who has other significant placements of air in their birth chart. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have the Zodiac Energies coming through of Sagittarius. We have Aquarius. Um, and then we also have the energy of it could be like one of your little sneaky links that you're dealing with. Um, it could be other males in your life. Um, someone who you work with and then damn other females in your life so essentially it's like everyone <laughs> it's everyone in your life okay um, but I definitely was getting the energy of what are uh, exes so for some of you because I heard exes blowing up my phone so some of you have some exes who keep blowing up your phone um, and those could be the individuals who are very toxic and codependent on you but then I just also feel like it's the people who are, uh, it's like people who have like broke your heart is what I'm seeing or caused you some sense of like pain. Um, I'm also getting people who have caused you like delays in your own life and, but they're relying heavily on you. Okay. And I also heard the energy of Taurus as well too. So it could be someone who has, uh, who's a Taurus or holds Taurus in their birth chart but for strongly what I'm getting it definitely could be like essentially a lot of people in your life if not everyone who is toxic and codependent on you who you're currently dealing with but it also feels like um it's more so like I'm getting like people who are your love interest or or people who you used to um date or sleep with or something like that so for those of you with significant placements of Pisces in your birth chart, we have the Prince of Swords coming up. So this is um, Gemini energy. So there could be someone who is a Gemini or holds um, that energy in their birth chart or any other air sign individual. But what I'm strongly picking up, we do have a sister energy as well too. So this could be your sister, someone else's sister, or someone you look at like a sister. But what I'm strongly picking up here is like you definitely have like family members and friends who covertly are doing this to you so it wouldn't be something that I feel like you either are aware of or they're just very good with covering up their toxicity and their codependency on you is more so what I'm seeing mm -hmm. but it definitely has to do with your resources due to f your finances and your career okay and lastly we have those of you with significant placements of Aries in your birth chart so we have the Queen of Wands here so this could be a Leo a Sagittarius another fire sign or like an Aries like yourself we also have the energy of Taurus Scorpio Sagittarius Aquarius there's a divorced energy here so it could be someone um, who you are divorced from is what I'm getting it could be an uncle energy so your uncle someone else's uncle someone you look at like an uncle and then there could be someone who you have a baby boy with okay um, with the Queen of Wands energy here, I feel like this, these are people who essentially have very high demands on you. I'm getting the energy of like these individuals kind of expect the unexpected, they, they expect the impossible from you. They expect you to wave your magic wand and just make shit happen for them. Um, that they can't even make happen in their own lives. So I feel like people have very high 
like requests and high demands of you that they don't even hold themselves to is what I'm getting. But yeah, I just feel like whoever these individuals are, they put a lot of pressure on you. And I feel like, yeah, they always expect the best from you. Like you never have a moment to have downtime or a moment to yourself or a moment to breathe or a moment to relax. Like these are going to be people where you're around them. You're always in go mode, especially because like it's never enough for these individuals. I feel like these individuals are never like satisfied with anything that you do and they always want more. So this puts you in a state of like always having to be active or working or creating or like it's like you always got to be on like you can't never just be like chill or relaxed around these individuals because I feel like these could be people who depend on you um so these could be, like literally like I mean like financially like outside of them just being toxic and codependent on you like energetically you know I feel like these could be people who you like take care of financially in some manner or these could be people who you work with so people your employees or your co-workers or something like that that put a lot of pressure on you is what i'm saying but those are all of the messages make sure you all go ahead and book a personal private session with me at my website www.divinelotustarot.com